Hi Mark. Hi Mark. I'm Amy. I will play the E bird part, and Estelle will play the C chord part. Let's start. That's Robin Williams, newly divorced actress who desperately wanted to spend more time with his children, and new comedy Mrs. Doubtfire. So Williams goes to his brother, played by Harvey Weinstein, a makeup expert. He wants to guide so perfectly to proving that his ex-wife and kids, and he gets one. A platform job as their nanny. That's how he fails his former wife, who's now Mrs. Doubtfire's new employer. And Mrs. Doubtfire takes over the house every afternoon to look after the kids before their mother comes home from work. It turns out to be a better nanny than in a way he was a father. Meanwhile, while trying to make an officer from the custody called Tavi, Williams explains how he plays to get work by using his gift for many great accents. That provides an excuse for a scene like this, which seems to be worked into every Robin Williams' movie, whether it's needed or not. The situation grows even more hard to idolize for William after his ex-wife starts to see another man, a steward being played by Pierce Brosnan. He hates her first sight, but of course Miss Stalfire must hold in her real feel. Mrs. Stalfire is funny at times, but not that funny, I guess. It's supposed to be sort of moving to that a father goes to such an effort for his children, but somehow I never saw father. That only saw Robin Williams in a row. It was tailor-made to explain for a presentation without ever really using his talent as an actor. Well, I enjoy this film a lot, Roger. I think that the problem may be for some people. They gonna prepare against Tootsie. Tootsie is a classic great American film. This is not an edit, but I think there are some sequences that are that particularly talking about things that you didn't get the chance to show. There is a scene where Robin Williams has to run into a restaurant. That is a long champion show. Yeah, yeah, I didn't work. I never took off. Oh my God, he has to play Mrs. Doubtfire one part in a restaurant with his wife and kids. And he has to play the struggling actor trying to get a job on a TV station with his boss, and run it before you. I tell you. I think that the scene was set up as a kind of screwball classic scene. I never paid off, and I couldn't get work. I saw that was wonderful, and I think that there are tender moments in the film too. There are some of the little sequence you saw, and you said the camera kind of silly. That's a meaning out of really enjoyable film. This time is a style is Eber and I am Cisco. That's Robin Williams, newly divorced actress who desperately want to spend more time with his children, and the new comedy Mrs. Doubtfire. So Williams goes to his brother, played by Harvey Firestone, a mega expert. He want to guide so perfectly to prove. Even his ex-wife and kids, and he gets one. Apply for a job as their nanny. That's how he feels his former wife, who is now Mrs. Doubtfire's new employer, and Mrs. Doubtfire takes over the house every afternoon to look after kids before their mother comes home from work. It turns out to be a better nanny than in a way he was a father. Meanwhile, while trying to make an Officer from the custody called Happy. Williams explains he how he plans to get a work by using his gift for a mini Greek accent. That provides an excuse for a scene like this, which seems to be a, to be worked into every Robin Williams movie, whether it's needed or not. The situation grows even more hard to idealize for Williams after his ex-wife starts to see another man, and Stuart. Being played by Pierce Brosnan, he has the first sight, but of course Mrs. Stoutfire must holding her real feel. Mrs. Stoutfire is funny at times, but not that funny, I guess. It's supposed to be sort of moving to let a father goes to such an effort for his children, but somehow I never saw a father. That I only saw Robin Williams in a role. It was Tyler Matt to explain for a person that. Personation without ever really using this talent as an actor. Well, I enjoy this film a lot, Roger. I think that the problem maybe for some people they're gonna prepare against Tootsie. 
Tootsie is a classic rare American film. This is not an elite, but I think there are some sequences that are particularly talking about scenes that you didn't get a chance to show. This is a scene where Robin Williams has to run into a restaurant. This is a long champion show. Yeah, yeah, I didn't work. It never took off. Oh my god! He has to play Mrs. Doubtfire at one part in a restaurant with his wife and kids, and he has to play a struggling actor trying to get a job on a TV station with his boss and running before. I tell you, I think that scene was set out as a, as a kind of schoolboy's classic scene. I never paid off, and I couldn't get work. I thought that was wonderful. And I think that there are tender moments in the film too. There are some little sequence you saw and you say a primary kind of silly. Let's admit it out of really enjoyable film. This is the end of our film. Bye bye. bye.